With only two days to go until the biggest sporting event in Scotland's history, the national team stand on the brink of qualifying for Euro 2008. Only world champions Italy stand in our way. We went to see what the average punter in the street thought about it. Very excited. I can't wait. I've been waiting on it for, since the last game at Ukraine. It's now coming up. It's, it's took its time. Get there. Even Monko, he can't even sleep. <laughs> I hope Scotland's going to win. Very difficult. A lot of confidence inside me says yes. Up here, not so much. Ah, very excited. Yes. This will be a good game. Yes. In light of Glasgow securing the 2014 Commonwealth Games last week, the city is still in party mood. Council bosses have decided to cash in on this weekend's game by putting up large screens in George Square and Glasgow Green. Fans seem to be optimistic about Scotland's chances and we asked them what we thought the result might be. The very best, 1-0 for Scotland. 2-0, uh, 3-0 Scotland. 3-0 Italy, unfortunately. I think we'll get hammered, man. I think we're going to win 2-0. I think if we're lucky we'll pull out a 1-1 one, one draw. Yeah, Italy, 2-0. Two, two <laughs> 2-0 Scotland. 3-1. 3-1. 2-1 yes. <laughs> mm, one, Scotland. Well, I would say Scotland would win 2-1. Two, one. The build-up to the game is centred around a media circus with daily updates on every part of the match. Both Scotland and Italy have already started the mind games. And not many papers fail to mention the fact that each Scotland player can be a hero. But the fans are in no doubt who the main man will be. I would take McFadden. Uh, James McFadden, obviously. McFadden. McFadden. Yeah, uh, McFadden. Yeah, for sure, McFadden. McFadden. Oh, what's his bloody name? McFadden. That's him. McFadden. <laughs> McFadden?